welcome to address our amazing world and today i'm here with mr giraffe and his friends hello mr giraffe hello amazing people what are we doing today today is story time yeah today is story time and the title is how mushrooms first grew are you ready all right let's start how mushrooms first grew a long time ago two brothers ato and sefa lived in a town called zuza their bad habits brought them much trouble. They took a lot of debt, but they refused to repay. Their creditors harassed them so much so that they ran away into the woods. However, Ato and Sefa were not happy in the woods. Their minds were troubled by the many bad things they had done. Finally, they made up their minds to return to Zuza, make a big farm, and sell their produce from the farm to pay off their debts. They cleared a large piece of land they had occurred and sold corn seeds. However, the very day, a hungry guinea fowl came along, scratched up all the newly planted corn seeds, and ate them. When Ato and Safa arrived at the farm the next day, they were upset to find all their work wasted. They set a trap to catch the thief. That evening, guinea fowl was caught in it. Ato and Safa came and found guinea fowl and said, You have robbed us of the means of paying our debts. Now all our debts are transferred to you. So, the debts were transferred to guinea fowl. What shall I do? Guinea fowl asked herself. Then a thought came to mind. She made a nest under silk cotton tree and began laying eggs with the intention of hatching them and selling the young birds for money to offset the debts. Soon, a st very strong wind came blowing throughout the land. This caused a branch of silk cotton tree to fall off, smashing all the eggs. Guinea fowl said to silk cotton tree, you have robbed me of the means of paying my debts. Now all my debts are transferred to you. So the debts were transferred to silk cotton tree. What shall I do, silk cotton tree asked herself. Then a thought came to mind. Immediately, she set out to make as much silk cotton as she possibly could with the intention of selling them to pay off the debts. Not long after that, Elephant came along. When he saw the silk cotton, he came to silk cotton tree and plucked down all her bearings. Silk Cotton Tree said to Elephant, You have robbed me of the means of paying my debts. Now all my debts are transferred to you. So the debts were transferred to Elephant. Elephant was very sad when he found what he had done. He wandered about thinking of a way to make money. He could think of none. He stood quietly under a tree thinking about what he could do. Hunter saw Elephant and said, How lucky I am to find such a fine elephant standing so still. He shot the elephant in the leg. Elephant said to the hunter, You have robbed me of the means of paying my debts. Now all my debts are transferred to you. So, the debts were transferred to the hunter. Hunter was much troubled because he had no money at all. As he walked home, he wondered what he could do to make enough money to pay the debt. Since it was night, he did not see that palm tree stump was in his way. He tripped over it and broke his leg. 
Hunter said to Palm Tree Stump, You have robbed me of the means of paying my debts. Now all my debts are transferred to you. So the debts were transferred to Palm Tree Stump. Palm Tree Stump decided to grow mushrooms so the people of Zuza could eat some of it and sell the rest to offset the debts. The people of Zuza loved the mushrooms. They used them to prepare palm nut soup. This is how mushrooms first grew. The end. Questions. Question number one. What were the names of the two brothers? Question number two. What did the elephant say to the hunter? And finally, question number three. Which tree grew the mushrooms? Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to share this video. Watch out for my next video. Until we come your way next time. Always remember that you are amazing.